Cadillac driving and he's drunk. He's sort of all over the road. And we're coming up down by Love's Landing. He's going to hurt somebody. So you've had not one sip of alcohol? No, I actually got off the work. I'm just tired. So right. I'm, I'm very surprised if you got calls about me because I just... 110% without doubt because they they gave us directions all the way to you stopping right here. So oh. you was passing on double yellows, running oh, no, off the no. road. Oh, I have not passed anything. I can say that 100. All right, maybe you didn't did. pass, but they said you were swerving oh, no, over, no. swerving over the lines. No, nope. running off the road. It wasn't no swerving, no run off the world. None of that. Um, I actually let vehicles pass me. That's why I pulled over because it's actually. A Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gotta Change. Today, we're dealing with somebody who was obviously under the influence of something driving in a vehicle, man. And I just think it's a, a very, very wild video. Uh, we've done plenty of videos where we've seen people drink and drive. I told you guys that, you know, it's obviously never good to do that. Um, but you could tell when somebody is a complete danger. And when you're watching this video, you may get a little bit uh, frustrated. You're going to see how far it goes. Um, it's going to get wild. By the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Let's keep it going. SUV that was running up on me. And so I pulled over to let you go across. Okay. So how come your speech is so slow, lethargic, it's slurred, I can hear you slurring? I am I'm so tired. I mean, just shoot me straight if you, you're oh, no, drinking no. today. I'm, I'm t no, I'm telling you, 100%. Like I just got off work. So do you know where you are right now? Oh yeah. I know I am on I came from the job. Always say because they have the auto It's so sad because you know when I'm thinking about it, you can tell this person knows they're done. Um and I hate that there's always a part of me, and this is what you gotta be careful of, but there's always a part of you is like <sighs> you, because we've a lot of us have been there where we realize this all over. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to jail. I, I've personally been to jail. I know I've sat there and just gone. I, 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 me personally, I don't make no excuses. When I went to jail, I just said, officer, it is what it is. Just go ahead and do what you're going to do. I've told the officer that. Just go ahead and do what you got to do. Uh, but you got to understand that they're saving this young woman's life. You know, as much as she may hate them and everything, she's saving their life. She's, her life is being saved as well as people around her life is being saved because she is clearly intoxicated. She clearly going to be people, put people's lives in danger. So I know she may be annoyed at this moment. And I'm and this is back in 2022. If you can look up there, you can see it. <clears throat> so hopefully she had looked back at this point in her life and gone, OK, you know what? That was stupid. That was dumb. I'm so glad the cop pulled me over because there's no telling what could have happened. I could have ruined somebody else's life, including my own, all because I wanted to have a little bit of a sip and I obviously took it too far. That construction, mm -hmm. eagerness, and take this road all the way back around. Do you know the name of this road, though? Um. Oh, no, I can tell you. This is, okay, the church is right there. On Eagerness, so that cross section is, I don't know, it's a level road. And I'm taking you're done. <laughs> We're going to move forward a little bit here because she's just going to just fall apart the whole time. And they're going to pull her out the vehicle, which you can see me on that timestamp down there. So let's get to it. I'm trying to drink Red Bull because I just got off. I just got off at 2. They caught me off at 2.40. What they're blurring back here is there is a little kid in the back of this vehicle, which made it even worse. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. But there is a little kid in the back of this vehicle. Um, that she was driving with. I believe she has two kids back there, and one of the kids is poking their head out the door. Five. The window. This is not even two point five. All right. So I can tell again, talking to you now, you're slurring. Yeah. So let me ask you again Have you had any alcohol? Oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry. So, what I think is happening here is obviously, if you've ever been drunk or if you've ever had too much alcohol, it it really can get to your stomach, make you want to puke. And I think that's what she's trying not to do is that her stomach is killing her at this point. Remember, alcohol is poison. Um, so after a while, you drink too much of it, your body's going to start to reject it. And I think that's what's happening to her now. She's trying to stand up. She's obviously dis disoriented. She may have a headache. 
And it's really starting to take a toll on her, which is very scary to think about, especially with the two kids in the back that have nothing to do with this. Man, it's sad when this happens, when a parent decides they're going to drink and they don't even think about their kids in the back at all. They just and I understand people have a last judgment. I understand people do make mistakes. And um, somebody, uh, you know, uh, the police were I'm so glad the police were there to look out for her that day. Um, but it doesn't make it right. Um, and she should serve jail time for this. You're okay. For endangering children. And as you can visibly see, it's visibly, visibly bigger than that last one. But hey. I'm just. What, I'm, uh, she's what, getting, what have y'all determined? Okay. I'm cool with it. Yeah, we trying to. Just, I don't. It don't matter. I'm just trying to get some duct tape out so we yep. can start. Alright. Uh. I'm not right there. Don't go anywhere. Just stay right here. Oh. Just stand sorry. still. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. I see the back. I'm so sorry. Oh. What's the matter? So they're going to try to do this duct tape thing and it ain't going to happen. She can literally not walk or move or anything. And this is where it gets a little bit more wild. Let's move forward. I want you to stand on this line with your heels on the line and stand facing me. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So I want to confirm you're willing to do field sobriety yes. for me? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Uh. Yep. Thanks. Yep, that's not going to work. Go ahead and stand up. We're gonna help you stand up. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Yep. Okay. There you go. I'm sorry. Uh, you're good. You're good. I'm sorry. Do, you, do me a favor. Place your yeah. hands behind your back. Yeah. Oh. All right. At this time, you're being placed under arrest, yes, under suspicion sir. of DUI. Okay. That's yes, fine. I think you've been drinking. Stand up straight. Yeah. Stand up. That's fine. Your kids are sitting in the back of the vehicle, not knowing what's happening to their mother. They're going to find out one day, but they can't comprehend because I think these kids are like two, maybe two to five. And she's saying, that's fine. I'm glad I'm going to jail. Nobody's going to be able to take care of my kids, at least for tonight. And you know she's going to get charged with for endangering children. And when yep. and then she says it's fine, and when they try to get her in the back of the cop car, as I'll show you here, it does not go well. Put your foot in there. Put your leg in there. Yeah. I know y'all think she's just going to be cordial. Nope. Get, get in the car. There you go. Yeah, lift your leg. Lift it. This more difficult. Lift it. Come around. Turn around. Butt first. With Crystal. There you go. Just go in down. 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 How many times have we seen this happen over and over? When people don't want to be in the back of a car, they do not want to be in handcuffs. That's normally when things escalate. The only reason I'm laughing, obviously, this has already happened. This is long gone. But it's just that I did not expect this when I first watched the video that she was going to start yelling and screaming. Because she was, obviously, she was out of her mind uh, under the influence of something. And she was doing okay. She was just more talking. But when she gets to this car, man, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> Back to Lake, have a 1032 operator and route to jail, please. All right, we don't need to see anything that has to do with the kids. Uh, so pretty much, you know, she ends up going to jail. We're going to see what she was charged with. I believe they tell us at the end. All right, you ready to walk? No, I'm good. You okay? Oh, all So right. she was charged with one count of DUI and two counts of child neglect. All right, all right I'm going to sit you, you up, see okay? She's out like a light. Uh, I'm like 250. We got, 
We got a chair for she you. She refused right to breathalyze. She refused to provide a breath. Um, urine or blood test and she subsequently was released on a three thousand dollar bond. We got a chair you can sit in. Yeah. I don't need a chair. All right. So three hundred dollars. Here's your chair. chair. Come on. Go shout out. Uh, go shout out. <laughs> you know, uh, shout out to the body cam watch. They always make some beautiful videos for us to, you know, help us talk on. I'm glad people do this kind of stuff. And even though these some of these videos are from a year ago, two years ago, we saw a video from five years ago. I love it because it just shows us how police have to interact with these people. And to me, I know some people, like I said this before, some people don't enjoy the police. I get it. You've had some bad interactions. Me personally, where I grew up, police were always on my tail. So I get it. I get how annoying the police can be. But you got to remember, in some cases, they are really, truly, and I want to say in most cases, they are really, truly out there to help us. They save somebody's life by pulling this woman over and keep going. And because obviously she could have done some real damage to somebody, especially as she was driving. She didn't even know where she was. She didn't know where she was on the road. She had two kids in the back. I mean, it's just a whole dangerous situation. So look at this stuff. And they were really nice to this lady. This one didn't turn into a big argument or anything like that. It was way more cordial than the other ones have been. I just love to see it now. So let's go back to this young lady, man. So when you guys, I understand having a hard day. I understand having a hard life. I understand having a bad week. I understand having a bad year. I understand having a bad half a year. You can never, ever. And this is why I think it's so important. And I've made this mistake. And maybe you've made this mistake. Running to any kind of substance, whether that be marijuana, alcohol, or any harder core, or more hardcore drugs, it does not help anything because you only end up putting other people's lives in danger just so you can feel better for just a quick second. I know how hard it is to want to run to these things to maybe just forget for a couple of seconds how bad life is going. I have no idea what's going on in this woman's life. She could have been going through something. She could be going through a custody battles. She could have been going through something with her uh, husband. She could be going through something with the father of the children. I don't know. And it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, her drinking could have ended all of that. And it could have ended it all for somebody else. So it wouldn't have clearly not been worth it. Please, when you're going through something, Please seek out your friends. Please seek out some help. Please, I don't care how much, and I understand this is probably the hardest thing to do, is to help ask somebody for help. Because it's hard, because you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to look like a fool. I remember, and I'll tell you this quick little story. I was so dumb at one point in my life that I was afraid to ask for help. I lost a vehicle that I paid $4,000 for. To some people, that's nothing. But for me, that was a lot of money at the time. I paid $4,000 for a vehicle that was getting me around town. And I lost it. I lost that entire vehicle because because I was afraid to ask for help. Don't do what I did, guys. Don't be stupid. Please go out there and always ask for it because all I ended up doing was losing a vehicle. I didn't end up drinking or anything like that, but there's been times where I have drank and it did not result in anything well. I just ended up falling in a, a pool of my own puke and it was disgusting, man. It's just something you just don't want to go through. Don't put anybody's lives in danger. Please don't drink and drive ever. Goodbye.